The beginning of the Natchez role is a tough one. It seems like Rockstar have just thrown you straight into it. The second you go and meet Harriet Davenport and Gus McMillan for the first time, Harriet ends up drugging you and then that's it, you're into the role there. That is where a lot of players get confused and they're not understanding what they have to do to get XP, to rank up, to get the better stuff and start making some good money within the role. So in this video, I am gonna show you exactly what to do to get your XP to rank up and get all of that good stuff. Before I do get into the video, I am streaming over on Twitch. If you would like to see any more content from me, there is a link in the description. It will take you over to Twitch, drop a follow, and you'll be notified the next time I go live. That is where you can ask me questions about this new Red Dead Online update, and you can see it live of me showing you exactly how to play through it. If you do also have a very urgent question, there is also a Discord link in the description down below. So the naturalist role, it is a tough one to start, but it was the exact same with the moonshine role when that was first released. It seems like when you first start, you actually need to make a loss. You need to put money into this role, you'll be making a loss for the first five ranks, but once you exceed that, that is when you can start making some money out of it. And it is the exact same with this one. So straight after you get drugged, you're going to want to go over to Harriet's tent, you need to buy some sedatives, and I also recommend getting some animal reviver. I've seen a lot of people say that the animal reviver isn't worth it, but I'm going to show you that it is. Once you have all of this equipment, that is when you just go into free roam. You need to use these sedatives to put these animals to sleep. When they're asleep, you can get a sample, and this is what you'll be selling to Harriet later. When getting the sample itself, you do not get any XP, but once you do sell it later, you can get 65 XP. And these are very similar to collectibles. Whereas collectibles, you store them in your satchel, but you can only get 10 of each collectible, this is the exact same thing. You store the samples in your satchel, and you can get 10 of one sample. So you can get 10 of a white-tailed deer, you can get 10 of a cougar, 10 of a bison and it just keeps going like that with every animal. There are some animals that these sedatives do not work with, extremely small animals and also birds. It will just kill them straight away. So that's the basics of this role, but we want to be making XP. So this is where we go from here. You've just put the animal to sleep, you've got your sample. Revive the animal. As said at the beginning, it is very very expensive for you to revive an animal. At the beginning of this role, it costs $5 just for one animal reviver. So that's only just to revive one animal, and you're gonna be coming through loads and loads of animal. It's gonna cost you hundreds, maybe even push into thousands. I've probably spent maybe 1,200 on this, but it gives you 13 XP. Doesn't sound like much, but now you've revived 10 animals. Not too difficult. That's 130 XP. Now you've revived 100 animals. Yet again, not too difficult. That's 1,300 XP. It all starts to add up and you don't have to buy this forever. Once you get to rank five, that is when you can actually craft this. This is where you can buy the pamphlet and you can craft animal revivers. That will require a horse reviver and some ginseng. This is now animal reviver, which is free. So you only need to buy it for the first five ranks. And that 13 XP is adding to it, getting you closer to you ranking up. So I do recommend it. Obviously, if you are trying to make money, probably not worth it. It really is not worth it. And the second I get to rank 20, I'm never going to use an animal reviver again. There's also legendary animals in the world that you can find. These will give you over 200 XP. The ones that are in free roam right now are incredibly hard to find. In the last 24 hours of playing this game, I've only managed to find one legendary animal. I've been in the right location to follow the legendary map, but they just will not spawn in. I do not know how to get it. I'm using the pheromones and I still cannot get these animals to spawn in. So specifically focusing on legendary animals isn't really worth it, because in the time it's taken me to find a legendary animal, I could have just got samples of any other animal, and I could have traded that in for XP. The legendary animals do give good money though, and I think if this was a money method, I would be telling you to focus on the legendary animals. But we're trying to get XP here, we're trying to maximize it. By all means, if you're just riding through an area and all of a sudden a little yellow question mark comes up to say that a legendary animal is nearby, definitely go for it. But if you're going out your way and you're waiting in a location for 20, 30 minutes, maybe even push an hour like I've been, then it's, it's definitely not worth it. The next thing is missions. I've also seen people get very confused with these missions because there is a mission tab at Harriet Davenport's tent. But a lot of people are seeing the legendary animals and saying that they can't go into it because they need to be ranked five. Yes, that is true. 
But if you look bottom right hand corner, there is also other missions. And this is the poacher missions. These are very similar to bootlegger missions. You'll go to a set location, you'll have to kill poachers, you'll free the animals, and then you're done. That's the mission passed. As soon as you've completed it, you have to wait 20 to 30 minutes before you get another mission. But for completing these missions, I've consistently got 195 XP every single time. Between rank 1 going all the way to rank 5, this is just what you need to do. You keep repeating this. You complete a mission for Harriet, kill the poachers, free the animals, get 195 XP. You then have to wait 20 to 30 minutes. In that time, you're getting as many samples of animals as possible. This will give you 65 XP per sample, and you're going to be reviving the animals, which gives you another 13 XP on top. I also forgot to mention that if you revive an animal, there is an award for for tonics and that award gives you XP once you use it 25 times, once you use it 50 times, once you use it 75 times and once you use it 100 times. So it is definitely worth doing. If you really want you can also focus on a specific category of animals. This is in the animal field book. This is very similar to collector sets. So whereas you can find random collectibles within the world, these collectibles belong to a set. So with this role, there's different animals that you can get samples of in the world, but they belong to a specific category. If you sell different samples, but you manage to get every single animal within a specific category, you can actually go to the animal field book and you can trade that in. Trade it in will give you money. There's a different amount of money for each category and it will give you XP. The easiest one that I've been able to go through is the desert category right now. Very easy to find all of these different animals. You can find most of them within New Austin, but you need to go over to the Great Plains to find a few other ones, such as the Rams. This only gives you $80, but it'll give you 1,300 XP. Doing all of this will give you a lot of XP, and you should be progressing very, very quickly at this point. Once you get to rank 5, it becomes a bit easier because you no longer need to buy the Animal Reviver. You can buy the Animal Reviver pamphlet and this allows you to craft it, meaning that you don't have to spend $5 for every single Animal Reviver. Now you just need a Horse Reviver and some Ginseng and you can start crafting this together. You can also do Legendary Animal Missions. This is so much easier than finding Legendary Animals within Free Roam. And they're also so much more exciting. They take anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes minutes depending on how quickly you are at finding clues and running about and once you finish you are given anywhere between 300 to 400 xp for completing the mission and on top of that you'll get a sample of that legendary animal if you do sedate it and you do get a sample and you can actually take that sample and sell it to Harriet later, which gives you another 200 plus XP. You will also unlock free roam events at this point. There's two so far, protect legendary animals and wild animal tagging. This is very similar to the poacher missions, except much longer and many more players. It's a PVE game mode where you need to kill poachers, save the animal, free the animal, and then you have to escort the animal. Whilst you're escorting the animal, different poachers will come in, attack you, and you just need to get as many kills as possible. With this, I got 650 XP. It was by far the best one. I also managed to get the most kills, so I'm not too sure right now if I got less kills, let's say that I placed third instead of first, whether or not I would have got less XP, or maybe even if I got a lot lower than that, maybe 10. But for this, I did get 650 XP, and I also did get the legendary animal sample once I completed it. That was then able to be sold later on as well to Harriet. And then we have the other free roam event, which is wild animal tagging. This is a limited number of animals in a specific area, and it's very similar to the collector free roam event, where it's like a PvP, and you're all trying to get as many different collectibles as possible. Except with this, you're trying to sedate as many animals as possible, and and you're trying to get a sample of. As players in this free roam event get more and more animals, there becomes less and less animals to sedate. I really struggled with this one, I only managed to get one animal, and at the end of that I got 130 XP. If you was good at this one, I imagine as it is a PvP game mode that you would have got more XP, and you would also have more animal samples so those animal samples could be sold to Harriet later on. But once you start incorporating all of this, this is where you get 
so much XP. So that's me running through everything, but just as a quick overview, you want to be doing missions. So this would be the legendary animals with Harriet or just doing the poacher missions if you're not a high enough rank. Whilst there's a cooldown period, this is where you'll be going out in free room and finding as many animals as possible. Any animal you come across, you're going to sedate it, you're going to get a sample of it, you're going to revive it. If you manage to complete any of these sets, these categories for these animals by selling these samples to Harriet and actually completing it within the animal field book, that is when you can trade it in, you'll get money, and you'll get XP. How much money depends on what category you actually completed. If a free roam event does pop up on your screen, definitely go through it. It will give you so much XP, more XP than anything else apart from actually completing a set. And these free roam events take 10 minutes max. And that's it. You can get anywhere between 100 XP going up to 600 XP. If you incorporate all of this, you will rank up very, very quickly. You're seeing in some of the clips, I'm selling my samples and I'm managing to rank up once, maybe even twice. And I'm not putting a crazy amount of time into the game as I'm also trying to do as many different videos as possible. And if you are a low rank, you're going to have to put money into it. So buy any animal reviver and then eventually buy in the pamphlets. In the long run, it will get you to max rank, rank 20 a lot quicker. And once you get there, that is when you can start focusing more on money and start making it a business and start getting a profit out of it. Because that's when you've got all the abilities, all the unlocks for the role, and that's when you can focus on legendary animals. But anyway, that is how to rank up within this naturalist role. That's all the different ways to get XP. And this is how I'm ranking up very, very quickly. Once I do get to rank 20, I will release another video which shows you exactly how to make money in this role. Because I don't think me doing a money method right now is actually worth it. I think there's going to be a much better way once I get to rank 20. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. If you do want to see any more content from me, I am streaming over on Twitch. Head over to there, drop a follow and you'll be notified when I go live. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section down below or go and head over to the Discord in which you'll find me as well as quite a few other players there as well. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.